Well, good morning, magandang umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. Uh, looking at the banana plant back there, those bananas are coming along really nice. Remember, those are our Cavendish variety uh, on the right side of the Bahai Kubo. And on the left side, we have the Lan Tundan. We actually brought some, we brought some bananas in just yesterday. They're down in the basement. I cut them all apart in each little band of bananas. But you know what? Today isn't anything about bananas. Today isn't anything about gardening. Today is about something that all of us, I believe, we get hooked on every now and then. Uh, we fall for that marketing strategy uh, when people are trying to sell you something. Are you interested? I hope so, because that's what today's episode is all about. Let's go ahead and get today's episode started. So without further delay, let's get today's video underway. It's good to be back here in the Bahe Kubo. You know, this is where we used to do our Bahe Kubo time. And this is where we will continue to do our Bahe Kubo time. And for those of you who do not know what Bahe Kubo time is, it means you haven't really watched many of the previous episodes because this is where we sit back and we share our thoughts. Uh, we share our thoughts about what we think the way things should go, uh, our expectations for building, our experiences with building, and we share all of that back here. This is a good place where we open up a bunch of the comment sections and we read your questions and comments and we discuss them back here. But that's not what today is for. Today we're actually using it because we are in the shade. It's actually really hot today and it rained all night last night and yesterday and it's quite humid on the outside. So finding a good shady spot is a really important thing in this type of an environment. Well, anyway, today I have something here in my hand uh, and what I have in my hand is something I said to myself, I would never buy. I would never buy what's inside this box. Now, let me ask you, have you ever gone to the store or seen an advertise on a website or had a pop-up pop up on your screen? Something that said, oh, two for one, buy one, get one free. Take one, buy one, take one. Those kind of things is what you see, see inside the Philippines. Or do you see things that you would normally never have bought, but it, it just, the 50% offer or the 70% offer was just so compelling. You ended up buying that thing even though you really have no need or no use for it. Well, that's kind of what I did. Uh, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna tell you something about kind of what's inside this box right here. Now, what's inside this box, I said earlier, I would have never bought this before. Uh, I was so against buying what was inside here. Uh, I am a Apple fan. I like Apple laptops. Uh, I like the other Apple products that they sell. I like the quality. I like the applications that Apple does. Uh, and this actually inside here, this is an Apple product here that I said I would never buy. And what it is, for those of you who just can't wait, what it is, it's an Apple Watch. And it hasn't even been unboxed yet. We're gonna unbox it here in just a moment. It's an Apple Watch. Now, I remember when the first Apple Watch came out, Apple, I think they call them generation, Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3, they have all the generations of the, of the Apple Watches. And as you can see, other than my wedding band, I am not a jewelry person. I never wear a necklace, I never wear watches, or rarely wear watches. Uh, I don't have rings and earrings, maybe one day, but not today. Uh, and the watch for me, uh, I really haven't had a lot of use and I just feel it's a little bit uncomfortable. And uh, when I need to see the time, which who cares about the time when you're retired, I just look at my phone or I yell, uh, Alexa, what time is it? All right, so I just did what I kind of do on a regular basis. I kind of went on a tangent in the opposite direction where I'm trying to get my point across. Uh, I've been accused of that many times. Uh, guilty as charged. Anyway, this is an Apple Watch inside this box right here. I did not buy the earlier generations. I looked at all the market hype that they had for it, but I just did not see anything compelling for me to buy an Apple Watch. Uh, and I keep up. I look at the Apple website and I look at their new products, their Macs, their Apple TV items, all the different things that they have, including the Apple Watch. But something caught my eye. Something caught my eye on the last and the latest generation of the Apple Watch. And it has something to do with health monitoring. 
something that someone who gets a little bit older, and even for young people, uh, it, it helps with keeping an idea of what your health condition is. Uh, also, it has those things inside that have to do to track your walking and running and all your fitness and things like that. Those are those type of devices are becoming very popular these days. Aside from the other Apple products, Apple Watch products in the past, is their monitoring of vital health conditions, which has to do with like your EKG for your heartbeat, uh, looking to see if you have an irregular type of a heartbeat, or it has something to do with your blood oxygen. It will measure your blood oxygen. Blood, isn't that crazy? All these. So I started looking at all these health advantages to it and reminders to kind of motivate you to be a healthy person, live a healthy lifestyle. And I said, maybe, maybe the hype has some merit to it. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to uh, open this up. We're going to do a box opening. I'm going to show you what I picked up. And we're going to test a couple of the functions on here to see, is it really worth getting one of these things? Should I change and start wearing an Apple Watch? Right, well, let's go ahead. Let's start with the box open. That's normally what you do. And this was actually ordered through Apple and it came through their China division, I believe, in Hong Kong. Which remember, all the Apple products are made, they're manufactured in China anyway. So it's going to be no difference no matter what. So it comes in this nice, nice case right here. Again, marketing. Look at the marketing on this. How professional is this? Now let's go ahead and get on the inside. Take a look at what's on the inside of this box. Now on the back it tells you what the color of the case is, which I purchased space gray aluminum. And it comes in two sizes. Uh, I got the, the larger of the two. This is a 44 millimeter. I believe the other size is either a 40 or a 41 millimeter. And one thing about ordering from Apple, you can personalize a little bit more other than the size of the band and the color of the case. You can also get a, a, a very nice uh, design for your band. Uh, even though if you were to order maybe on Lazada.com, which is kind of like the Amazon.com equivalent of the US, uh, they have some selections that you can get, but not really all of the selections like you can get. So you can really pick and match the type of a band that you get along with the color selection that you want. So what I did on this one right here, I got, uh, it says Inverness Green Braided Solo. I like this one right here. And it, when you are going online, you can download a wristband measuring tape and it will help you with getting the correct size. So I hope this is the correct size based upon that measurement. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what's actually inside the box here. Okay, once we open the box, we have our band. And again, this is the, the green band that we got right here. Uh, I believe it's a little bit flexible. And it's, they got a really neat way of attaching the band to the watch itself. So let's go ahead and open up the watch case. And this is what you see inside the case. Now, let's go ahead and open up each one of the components inside here. Well, I think this is nothing but some instructions inside here. We get some instructions. We have a charger, and this is charging without plugging directly in. So the watch will set on top of here, and it's like an induction type of a charging, no direct connection to the battery. And then you have your standard USB connection right here, which of course, if you're you're charging this with any of the newer Macs that you have. This You're going to have to have an adapter that goes from here to your Mac. Because they don't have this anymore. And the next, the, the main item, uh, which is the watch itself. So the watch comes in a little protective case like this. And this is the watch. And you can see I chose a very, uh, very neutral black color right here. And this is the back. And it has all the sensors you can see here on the back. Uh, so the way you put the watch band over here on, it just kind of slide it through. And we'll do that in just a moment. Now, as I was getting ready 
to put the band on, which I'm going to show you in just a second, I accidentally bumped the side, which it looks like it activated the apple. Uh, yeah, so it did. So uh, I'm sure I'm not the first person who's done it because it's very easy to touch this when you pull it out of the box. So I guess it's time to set this thing up. Mm. Let's see. So I'm, I haven't even looked at the instructions yet, so I'm just going to start pushing buttons here. Yep, and so it says English. We'll set it up with English. And uh, why not? We'll set it up for the Philippines because that's where we're at. And uh, so oh, i got to pair this with my iPhone. So let me go grab my iPhone. And then uh, I'll, put, I'll put the band on in just a moment. All right, since the Apple Watch app was not previously installed on here, I had to install it. I went to the App Store. And let's see, use your app. Uh, iPhone to set up the access. So we're going to continue. Just follow because there really wasn't any instructions in the box. I think you have to kind of follow what it's what the watch tells you here. It said connect your Apple Watch on your iPhone, and that's what we're doing. And it says it's restoring, so maybe it's restoring from my iPhone over to the. Let's see. Uh, Okay, all right, so this one says start pairing, and this one says set up for myself. So um, I guess before I do this, let me go ahead and hit set up for myself. Put your Apple Watch and hold the camera on it. Do the start pairing. So I guess that's what this crazy little, little thing is for right here. Oh, okay, so that's what it did. It paired up with that little gaseous looking cloud thing on there okay so there uh, please continue with your setup okay set up Apple watch I don't know if it means on the phone or on the watch but we're gonna just keep clicking buttons I wear my watch on the left side okay I'll click left now it says it's contacting my Apple watch is it really contacting my Apple Watch? Let's see. Now it says this may take a moment. Oh, well, let's go ahead and start agreeing because I don't think you have much of a choice on some of these things. Oh, now, signing into my account. It kind of took like about, about four minutes to get to this point right here. I'm actually not really close to the Wi-Fi connection so maybe the data takes a little longer and that comes up and it says as you can see on here a workout route tracking Apple Watch workout uses your location to track routes and local weather and out there enable why not let's go ahead and enable it uh, no I don't I'm not a big fan of Siri I like Alexa uh, on the Amazon devices but Siri to me not so much let's see uh, the language and region you've chosen for your iPhone are not supported by Siri, but it's because we chose the Philippines. So you'll see, had I chosen the U.S., maybe it would have been different. And that's fine. It's disabled on here. We'll change it later if we have to. Uh, I don't share. Um, I'm not a big fan of sharing my analytics because I think it takes up resources. Although it's a good thing to do because it helps improve product items. Uh, let's see. Uh, shared settings. Uh, let's see if I'm... Uh, okay, well, well I'm going to leave these. There's a way on here that you can change all the different uh, detect sizes uh, and I think the fonts and all. But we're going to leave it like this. We can set it up later if we want to. So we'll say set up later. Uh, Apple Watch passcode. I'm going to create a passcode. Okay, so I set up the passcode. You do that on the phone. Let's see what's the next step on here. Uh, set up act for activity I'm gonna do this later I just want to get into the phone we'll set that up later blood oxygen oh I definitely want to enable that let's enable that one and keep your uh, I Apple watch up to date yeah I, I want that uh, I'm gonna say yeah uh, heart rate notifications yeah I want to know I'm an old guy I want to know if there's any issues with my with my heart rate and this is above 120 uh, BPM um, Emergency SOS. I doubt that's going to work right here in this area. Uh, Calls are yeah, connected to your iPhone. 
Uh, I guess I don't have a choice, so I put continue. Uh, so for right now, on the clock faces, you can change it. I'm going to uh, probably go with the default. Uh, it says install all the apps that are on there. You know what? I think I'm going to choose later what apps that I want to install on here because I don't want everything on here. I just want some of the basic functions, so I'll choose that later. And now I believe it's syncing. So while it's doing the synchronization, I think this is a great time to talk about the, the watch band. Now the watch band, if you look on the bottom, you see a little clip right there on the bottom. Well, the clip is meant to fit on the bottom side of here. So when you slide this through, you want to slide it through with the little indention on the bottom. And we'll just slide easily. And you should hear it click, click in when it goes through. Yep. And that little button right there is what you push when you want to remove it. So let me put it on both sides. There we go. So now this is what it looks like with the band on. Now that actually took quite a long time. It took like about 20 minutes to do the synchronization. So it, it is a welcome splash screen on the iPhone. Okay, so we're going to click OK here. Okay, so here, here I guess is where you start setting up. Uh, there's nothing much else you can do on the Apple Watch itself. So here are some things you can do. You can set up your uh, your faces. Let's see. I'm not real keen on that one. Let's see what else they have on here. Now we'll go back. We'll do this later on. I will go in and select. I just want to get through and get the watch started. Now it uh, appears that this is pretty intuitive. I uh, on here, it shows you what you have on your watch. So it shows your watch right here, and it shows the applications. Uh, let's see. Watch us turn. Uh, we're not going to do that right now. That was some terms and conditions update. And it will show you the apps or the apps that are installed or the apps that you can install that you might have on your Apple account. And then for the face gallery, since it only had the one, these are different type of faces that you can change your face to. Again, I will do that later because I don't want to consume the time now. So it says your watch is ready. Let's go ahead and start using the watch. Press the digital crown to start. This is the digital crown. Okay, so after I press the digital crown over here, it says update complete. What's new? Cardio fitness levels, Apple fitness, braille support key. Uh, let's see, I say so good. Let's go ahead and hit. So it's ready. So there, there it is. There is my display, and again, I can change this face. And there are my apps when I hit the digital crown. So I'm going to play around with this. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like on my arm. I haven't put it on my arm yet. Let's see if it fits. If that actual measuring device was right, because I have a really narrow. I have a narrow wrist. Well, one of the things that was most important for me to get this has to do with health. So let's go ahead and look at the heart meter. Let's go ahead and you see it says it's measuring. Now, I'm not really sure. I'm going to have to look and see what is a good uh, beats per minute. But right now it's showing that I have 82 or 81. I have 81 uh, beats per minute for my heart rate, my heart rate. So it said one minute ago it was 77. Well, I just started doing some jumping around and some talking. But you wouldn't think uh, that would raise it that much, but for older people, maybe jumping up really quick and talking, maybe it does. But that's good to know, so I can see this right now. I'm going to take a look and see if there's another kind of uh, health measuring on here that I can see right now. Now, the health feature on here with the ECG, I just wanted to show you that. Uh, you can do a ECG, and you can get it to... Uh, actually do some testing on you so you hold your finger on here and for 30 seconds it basically makes a connection between the back of the phone all through your body through your heart and back to where your finger touches this part of the phone right here the little crown and then it will report and then you'll get a report on your iPhone inside the health application inside there uh, that you can review but it will let you know whether you have issues or you have normal rhythm with your heart. So there's the test and it says I have regular sinus rhythm, uh, which is good. Uh, the, it says this CCG does not show signs of atrial fibrillation. And then if you go also to your app on your phone, it will show you 
and I did one earlier today so this is the one we just did just now and you can see this is something that's really important it will actually show you the recording that you had and if you were a doctor I guess you would understand all of these beats inside here but they're they're regular this is which means it's a, a sinus rhythm inside here and you can you can export this and send it to your doctor it's so cool in the PDF file Okay, another neat feature they're automatic automatic type of things that I didn't even realize now since it's already synchronized we have a CCTV all over the place and you can see on my Apple watch here the iVidian shows that there was detection motion detection right here in the Bahikuba because we have a, a camera we have a camera right here inside the Bahikuba so that's cool and it shows you the picture right on the screen that it captures of actually me that's me inside uh, so let's go back to let's go back to one of the applications on here now one of the other things I really like to the, about this is the the you see the iMessage I'm a big user of iMessage on here it actually so, there's a microphone on it so you don't have to type in your messages anymore you can record it so let me do this hey Gerard you want to be on today's episode if so send a yes or yay okay so I'm going to go ahead and send that I'm gonna go ahead and send that to him and it will deliver the message so I'll just sit here I'll go back to the main screen let's go back and you'll see I'm on the main screen and once he receives the message uh, he'll reply and I get my messages right here so I don't have to type like I do on my phone and he came back he said r2d2 <laughs> uh, on today's episode and I will say um, yep today's episode I can see him you can see he's typing something in the background oh I felt it vibrate and I'm not sure what's the topic <laughs> okay well I'm gonna finish I'm just showing you it, you can actually do that and you can actually make phone calls too from your phone through this right here as well now that's about it for today this is one of those things I said I would never get oh I'm getting messages in from Gerard again uh, I, I, I said I would never get one of these but I started to look at some of the health features on there and especially the messaging because I'm always doing messaging off from my iPhone and being able to take phone calls while your phone is in your pocket through this right here these are all really great features and functions so even though there was a lot of hype there was a lot of marketing and I kind of fell for some of it I think that some of the benefits in this new series 6 outweigh some of the things that I thought I might have gotten or really didn't care for in the earlier version so Apple that is actually doing a good job uh, working towards making sure that you are healthy also it's a motivational kind of a factor inside just setting up your exercise routines so I need something to motivate me to do the walking and the jogging and all the things to try to make myself as a senior citizen feel a little more healthy Anyway, that's about it for today. I thought I, you, I, I would get a video out on the opening of the box and my thoughts on the iPhone. I still got a lot of playing to do on here. Lots of playing. I'm excited about this new toy. Anyway, we'll be coming up with some more episodes pretty soon. We have some really exciting projects that are coming up as well. And, of course, always the garden in the backyard. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please share. And if you have not subscribed, just click on that little My PI Dream heart. And the bottom right hand side of your screen, you'll be subscribed and notified the next time I upload a new video. So until such time from right here in the Philippines, you have a wonderful and blessed day. today's episode and you would like to see more just like these just click on one of the helpful links over to your right and you might be able to pick up on some good information on DIY projects how to or if you are interested in moving to the Philippines and building you'll find answers there as well